What's up guys? What's good. So I know a lot of you are probably still in quarantine like us, so we invite you to grab some food and come play Would You Rather with us. Yes. Yeah? So we have food from Something Vegan. It's not sponsored, but we just love vegan food and Something Vegan in general. We're not just being like Something Vegan, the restaurant's called Something Vegan. Yeah. So, so real quick, we'll run you through what we got. I got rice and like this beef bowl thingy. Heavenly beef. Heavenly beef. I have a chicken Caesar wrap. Chicken with a K and no C. Chicken. And I've got a Beyond Burger with fries and a little salad and some bang. Bang. I got that yellow curry, you know? Mm. And brown rice. <laughs> and brown rice. Yeah. All right. So let's get the first would you rather going. All right. First question, would you rather have your brain transplanted into a robot's body or an animal's body of your choice? That's hard. I think I would transplant my brain into an orca whale or a tiger. So you would, do you think you'd be like living, like your consciousness would be in there? Yeah. In that tiger? Yeah. I think I'd go with the robot because then I would outlive all of the animals Whoa. like many, many times because I would forever be getting upgraded. I'd be a dolphin. Dolphins are super tight. Would you hit the puffer fish? Would you get high off the puffer fish? Do dolphins get high off puffer fishes? If you don't know, dolphins get high off puffer fish. <laughs> Google it. That's tight. I swear. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but that would definitely be a dolphin experience that I would want to have. <laughs> For me personally, I probably I probably transfer my brain into a into an animal, like an otter. Mm. I've always loved sea otters. Mm -hmm. You just like chill on your back and eat, like with the shells. <laughs> that would be super fun. I thought of a pun for Tag's thing. He would dolphinately try the puffer fish. <laughs> Next, would you rather? Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? <laughs> Or read that again. <laughs> would, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses, so 100 tiny horses, or one horse-sized duck? I would fight 100 duck-sized horses. I think I would feel more justified and more like I actually fought a battle if I fought the big duck. Because, you die! Because then, then you only kill one thing, and it's not killing 100 little, like, helpless little think horses. Think <laughs> like, they're duck, tiny. Think of a duck-sized beak, bro. You, you don't die right. with that mentality, yeah, dude. I think I would chop be that terrified duck. of a horse-sized duck. That thing would be. Hard, so I feel like it'd be like a Family Guy episode where like you just get attacked by this monstrous bird and you just like spend like ten minutes of, in a fight scene. Yeah, I would definitely go with fighting the one hundred duck-sized horses because I don't think a duck-sized horse could do that much damage. Really, I could kick those dudes. Like a I could. Yeah, I can kick those. That just would make me sad though. Yeah, but you know what would make me <laughs> even more sad? Is dying. <laughs> so I would Too just- that's why, that's why I wouldn't die. Dying by a huge duck with a deadly beak. I don't want to die, so I would kill those 100 little horses. So, anyway. so far, I guess Rab's the only different one <laughs> from all of us. I'd pick the, the big fight. I'd take my chance with those little, the, with the little, like, little guys, because a horse is a big animal, dude. Like, yeah. Whenever I'm by a horse, I'm like, I'm a small fellow. <laughs> and also, hor imagine if a horse could fly; it would destroy you. Those are big wings, bro. Those are big wings. <laughs> All right. Would you rather have your only transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking dude, about. Dude, giraffe for sure. I'd be so badass cruising around on a giraffe. Um, realistically, a donkey because you wouldn't really be able to go many places with a giraffe because the long neck can't really go through many areas. Now a rabbit wants to be practical. <laughs> I'd be like, where'd you get that giraffe? And how'd you tame it? And you'd be like, I don't have time for questions. I have a deadline to get to my destination. <laughs> <laughs> I have to leave three days early to get back to downtown. <laughs> I think just to be cool, I picked a giraffe. Everybody would want to be my friend. Everybody would want to ride on that giraffe. You would need some kind of harness because, like, a giraffe back isn't it kind of sloped? Mm hmm. These things can fight too. Have you ever seen giraffes fight? Yep. Hopefully, cool. you're not on it when it's fighting. <laughs> Super dangerous to ride a giraffe, I must say. No, you didn't Donkey. They're just, they, they can carry so much. They're a tried and true 
historical, like transportation animal. Like that's true. The info on giraffe and like how durable or like I don't know. There's not a whole lot of info, but donkeys are tried and true. Mm -hmm. Millennia. So on point. But we we'll leave <laughs> All right. Would you rather be a reverse centaur or a reverse mermaid slash merman? So you're telling me I'd have a horse upper body and a human lower body? Yeah, it would be. It'd be a horse upper body. Yeah. And a human lower body. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Would that mean you would have horse front legs and then human hind legs? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wait, no. I think it's just like a horse head on a human body. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what a centaur is. It's like a horse. They have arms, though. So you'd have like two little. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You'd have hooves right here. And it's just two legs. I don't want to be any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably go with the reverse mermaid slash merman because, like, yeah. I don't know. It'd be kind of like in like Harry Potter and like I think it was the Goblet of Fire <laughs> when they're in the lake. Oh uh, yeah. And what's his name? Like Karkaroff? Not no, not Karkaroff. Crumb. Crum. He like tries to turn himself into a shark, but he only gets the head going. So he's like a shark-headed human going through the water. And he looks crazy. So I'm just picturing myself being like a halibut from the waist up, and that would just like. The fish is chosen at random, so yeah, if you were a halibut, that'd be awkward. I think I'd, I think I'd do the centaur. The reverse centaur is definitely more pretty. People would actually come up to me and be like, oh, I'll, I'll pet your face. But a fish, I, they'd be like, bro, what, what's going on? And with any luck. You have to stay in the ocean. Yeah, you, you have know. to stay in the ocean. Dad, what do you think? So for me, I would be a reverse centaur, and let me tell you why. It's because, like Rob was saying, horses are kind of pretty, and they smell good. Well, at least the top half does. <laughs> but fish stink. I don't want to stink. I don't want to. No, no, fish stink outside of the water. Exactly. But you aren't outside of the water because you have to live in the water. Oh. Because you have a fish head. Oh. So you'd be a fish that was terrible at swimming. Can you, yes. can, you, can, <laughs> you, cannot make a, you cannot make a claim that fish don't smell underwater. You don't know what underwater smells like. Facts. All right, next, would you rather? Would you rather be constantly itchy or constantly sticky? Mm. Constantly sticky. Yeah, I've been sticky. itchy for like a very long time before, and I'd much rather be sticky. Sticky? How sticky? Like, could could you use that like Spider Man and like? How itchy? Like Spider Man? <laughs> Let me look. Ty, what do you think? I'd go with the sticky icky icky. Or some sticky fellas. Wait, is all of you sticky? Yeah. Because. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And all of you is itchy. Ooh, well then, if you're, if you're always, all of you is sticky, would you be able to, like, make babies? <laughs> Alright, would you rather have nipple-sized fingers or <laughs> finger-sized nipples? <laughs> what? Wait, wait. So, picture this. Your fingers are not long. They're as long as nipples, so you just have a little... What if I've seen some pretty long nipples? They're your nipples. My nipples. Yes. <laughs> Dang. That's tough. And then your nipples have just fingers hanging from them. <laughs> so... I think... There's that. I would do the finger-sized nipples, because they're easier to hide. Mm. And I kind of need my hands to do things. And if I had nipple-sized things, you know, like, could lift weights. It'd be very like noticeable. Someone's like, hello, and you're like, <laughs> nipples. Nipples. <laughs> <laughs> they shake your hand, your nipples are hard. You're just like, don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> I would do finger size nipples, because I really need my hands to do things. And yeah. I don't know, if my if I just had really long finger size nipples, I could decorate them, I could do all sorts of fun stuff with them. Let's I, I'd just make it cool. Imagine jogging. You could paint with them. <laughs> I can paint. I'd pierce them all crazy. Yikes. I'd find somebody who's into it and then we'd live happily ever after. <laughs> Could you tie them in a knot? Them up like over your shoulder? Like a call down a soldier? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys' picks? Probably the finger sized nipples. Yeah. I think the jury's out on that one. Everyone wants finger sized nipples. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> would you the next would you rather <laughs> Is would you rather eat chocolate flavored poop or poop flavored chocolate? <laughs> of course, we're eating it right now. Wait, so it would be poop, but it, it would just be, taste like chocolate. Yes, it would be poop though. Or then it would be actual chocolate, but it would just taste like poop. Uh huh. I would definitely do poop flavored chocolate. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Definitely, hands down. I heard people die from eating poop. Yeah, I'd do the same. 
You <laughs> better drop it. I don't care how good that poo is, I'm not eating it. I've had Birdie like, Bot's favorite flavor beans. I've had jelly beans that taste like vomit, so like. Poop? No, no problem. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, no problem. The thing is, if you eat the chocolate flavored poop, you aren't actually experiencing the poop flavor. Yeah, you're but then you mind chocolate. You're still ingesting somebody's byproduct of food. Picture it, Keen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! That yeah. looks like a turd now. Why is this question coming up when I'm eating my freaking fake beef poo looking stuff? Your bulgogi butt. <laughs> bulgogi booty beef. I would have to go with the chocolate or the poop flavored chocolate because it's it's true. It's like you aren't actually eating. So. It seems like it. Next one. Would you rather have your body found on a pile of sex toys or drugs? <laughs> <laughs> sex toys. What kind of drugs? Are you aspirin? Just a bunch of drugs. All the drugs. All the drugs. A bunch of different drugs. Needles. Yeah, probably. But then that like that means all the sex toys. That's far with me. Like this guy's into some weird stuff. What are you taking? Yeah, probably sex toys. Yeah. Because drugs are bad. Sex is good. Sex is good. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Death by sex or death by drugs? Probably. Death by sex would be... I that think sounds a little scary. Scary? I don't know. But death by drugs probably fe might feel a little better. It depends. Uh, I feel like it feels good that you're, like you're dying and you're like, this sucks. I'm gonna go with Keen's drugs are bad, sex is good philosophy. Yeah. Definitely. And say it's sex toys also because, yeah. All right, here's a good one. Would you rather be able to talk to land animals Animals that could fly for animals that live underwater. I would definitely want to be able to talk to animals that live underwater because we don't know anything about the ocean and I want that information, you know? <laughs> I would choose the same one because then you could be like, hey, where is the shipwrecks full of gold and precious jewelry? <laughs> I know you've seen it falling down from our spot up here. They'd be like, I don't know. I like, would. Is Atlantis real? I choose the land animals because I'm never underneath water or around that many animals underwater. And I'm never around many animals that fly. And I mean, because they fly. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I'm on the land, so I, I talk to land animals. Because that's like dogs, cats, like everything we come in contact with all the time. I would pick land animals also. Yeah. Because you can cuddle most land animals and become friends with them. Whoa. Imagine cuddling a cow. That'd be sick. And talking sick. to him. And talking to him. Like, What's up? <laughs> like, dude, can I ride you? Yeah. yeah. And then like, hey, can I ride you? No. All right, cool. No, no worries. Maybe tomorrow. And I'll be like, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> tiger. <sighs> Don't eat me. Dude, I'll show you oh, where okay. all. I'll get you hell of food like, later. And I'll be like, dude. Yeah. All right, all right. Cool. Would you rather have the aliens that make first contact be robotic or organic? Organic. <laughs> <laughs> right guys? Come on. But imagine there's like some there's some hot alien girls. What if there's some hot robots? There's not. You don't know that. You're so biased. Have you seen Westworld? Yeah. I mean I think organic would be coolest because then I'd have hope for humanity. <laughs> if it's robotic, I'd just be like, damn. <laughs> well, I mean everyone just assumes that a robot alien would be evil, like the organic one could be just no. as evil. No, I'm not assuming it would be evil. I just think it would be like cool. hope for humanity and organic material. If robots got, got here, I'd be like, damn, humans weren't like organic material wasn't good enough to get here. It was robots. True. I was gonna go with the robots because then hopefully if it's like if some aliens could make a robot that could then fly into space, they're probably pretty smart. You know. But yeah, but I would go with the organic one because if there was organic aliens that stayed on their own planet and sent robots, that means they're super smart, but they themselves couldn't figure out a way to get themselves here. So the organic ones that got themselves here would be smarter and like it would give us hope that we could maybe go back to their planet and check it out too. Wow, this last one's lit. Would you rather be stuck playing Jumanji or stuck in Narnia? Ooh. Narnia. Narnia would be fire. <laughs> Narnia would be lit. But and also Jumanji, super dangerous. But Jumanji's like more dangerous than lit, you know? Narnia's more lit than dangerous. I don't know about that. Aslan. I would get stuck in Jumanji because 
If you're a Narnia and you die, you die. If you die in Jumanji, you got two more chances. Is that how it works? You get three lives in Jumanji. You get one life in Narnia. In Narnia, there's witches and wizards. They can bring you back to life. Wait, wait, wait. Three times? Only as a <laughs> Three times? If you go into Narnia, Narnia, you are a son of Adam or a daughter of Eve. And so, if the white witch is there and she catches you like she got Edmund, you're potentially screwed. Or, you could get lucky and like find some beavers and like have a grand old time. <laughs> in Narnia, things always change. In Jumanji, it's the same game. True. It's the other way around. Narnia is more like pretty consistent. In Jumanji, is like roll the dice, now there's a stampede. So, depending on the time in Narnia, there were like more humans, you know, it's like Prince Caspian type stuff, but like that's getting more into it than I think we need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it for our Would You Rather yes. mukbang. I hope you had a good time. <clears throat> we sure did. If you notice, I'm the last one eating still. I'm the slow eater, tiny bite taker. Still got a lot of food. <laughs> so, if you're like me, don't rush that food. It's bad for your digestion. Yeah. Anyways, you guys have a good rest of whatever day or night or whatever time you're watching this video. Yes. You know what to do and what not to do. So do not like, do not comment, don't subscribe, and don't watch our other videos. Don't do it. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.